guys, this is Ms. Sizemel, and today we are working on our secret message assignment. And so the hint for the secret message assignment is creating this block called define go to X and go to Y. So the idea is that you're going to, just like in math, move along an X coordinate, so along the horizontal, and then you're going to move along Y coordinate along the vertical, just like we would if we were drawing it in math. So we can do this with our robot and move it X, Y on a grid. So we are going to start by launching VexCode VR. We're going to open up our art canvas. And you can see that in my art canvas, I am already at zero, zero, which is in the center of the screen. And I can move around in the screen and this location will change. But I have to tell it how to change it. So I'm actually going to go create a function. So make a block and I'm going to call it go to X and I'm going to give it some sort of an input because I want to give it an X number. X, um, I guess I'm going to call it X target, meaning I'm aiming at that X right there. I don't, I want, don't want to put in where I am. I want to put in where I want to go and my target is where I want to go. So then I'm going to add a label and go to Y because I also need to give it a Y. So that's my Y target. And that gives me a, um, a block that I can use to do all sorts of stuff. So it gives me a nice definition block here. So it's all well and fine at this point that I've made this thing, but if I don't tell it to do something, nothing's going to happen. So the first thing I need to do is I need to turn my robot. So it's currently sitting at a heading here. Just tell me heading is zero. I want it to be facing exactly this opposite way because I want to go across on the X first because we always do the X first. It's just like math. So to make that happen, I have to turn my heading. So I'm going to come over here. Well, first thing, turn my heading to 90 degrees. Okay, great. So I turn my heading 90 degrees, and now I need to tell it what to do. So I want it to drive forward for some amount of distance. But subtracting the distance and figuring out exactly how many degree or how many each one X1 is worth so many and it's pain in the rear and I don't want to do it. So what I'm going to do instead is just subtract where I want to go from or subtract where I am from where I want to go. And then that should give me my direction and I should be able to just drive there. So to do that, I need to do some math, which is an operation. I like subtraction. Somehow it makes more sense in my brain. You could probably reverse this and do it as an addition where you are plus whatever, but that seems weird to me because somehow in my brain, it makes more sense to subtract. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take where I want to go and I'm going to subtract for it where I am. So if I go to sensing and I scroll all the way down, there's my position in X in millimeters. So if I can now turn to heading 90 degrees and drive forward to whatever I put there, um, minus wherever I am. Okay, great. Now I need to do the same thing for Y, except that in Y, I need to change my heading back to zero because remember, it's the heading here is zero when it's straight on. So I'm going to change it back to zero, and I'm actually just going to duplicate this block. And instead of X target, get rid of that, I want Y target. So I'm just going to drag my Y target down there and change this from X, really, <laughs> too big, from X, from X to Y. So now drive forward to Y target. Okay, great. So that should do what I want to do, but right now absolutely nothing will work. I'm going to say, why not? Because I haven't called this function anywhere. So I'm going to scooch this down so I can kind of see multiple things at once. In my drivetrain, I hate how slow everything goes. So I'm going to set my velocity and my turn and put them both as high as they'll go, which is 100. 
And the first thing I want to do is I want to tell it to go somewhere. So I come back over to my blocks and I'm going to call this function that I just wrote. In fact, I'm going to go back to my directions. It's negative 800 and 400. So I'm going to go negative 800 and 400. And basically I want to stop driving when it gets there because sometimes if I don't tell it to stop driving, it will just keep going, which is weird, but, and not always too. I don't know what the deal is. It might just be me, but there we go. So I've now turned and I've driven. There you go. And you'll notice it backed up. Why did it back up? Because I told it to drive forward for a negative number. So negative means go backwards. And so basically it says drive forward, but for a negative number, and that just tells it to back up. So I don't need to deal with going forward and backing up. I just need to put negatives in there where I want them. So if I come over to secret message, my next thing is to put my pen down and go to my next spot. So I should be able to come to looks, move the pen down, and I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna pull out another block. Obviously this isn't actually the one I want, but I wanna test it. And so it goes to that location of negative 800, 400. And then it draws a line to one, one. And you can see my location is one, one. So that's how you're going to draw this. So the idea is that in your secret message, you're going to follow these directions in order and it, you should get a secret message. Then I want you to make your own. Type your directions. They can go in here. Um, oh, this is for your code blocks. This one down here, level two, is I want you to do your own. So I want you to go ahead and type your directions and then the answer of what it's supposed to spell out and see if a partner can actually do it. So give it a shot and we will see you uh, when I come back.